Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to North Oak Township. So as you can see, uh, you probably can't see yet because I was looking over there, uh, as you can see, uh, we collected all the bales and we put them in our storage, uh, and our cows are fed now. Uh, let's just check to see what the numbers are like before I get too distracted. So they still need some TMR, so they have grass now, but they don't have silage yet, and they need some water and water and straw. They need straw, okay. We can deal with that easily enough. So water and straw. So let's go ahead and pick up a water container. I think it's a miscellaneous, there it is. The mobile water tank. So let's go ahead and get that guy right there for our cows. And we have straw already and we have grass. So before we take care of that, I wanna do one thing. I wanna come over here and grab our John Deere Model A, and I'm gonna go fire it up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check in on our peaches, which we have here in our peach orchard. So if you've never used uh, any of the fruit mods, the way it kind of works is. You have to have a, a UPK compliant, I don't know why I use that word, you comp UPK compliant uh, trailer. What will happen is as you drive underneath the uh, tree, the uh, trailer will automatically fill up like that. So Apparently I'm stuck on the tree now. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get stuck on the tree. There you go. So, all you need to do is just drive close to them, and they'll automatically uh, get the fruit that is on the tree. As you can see, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it's slowly filling up, and then the tree will be. We won't have any more fruit left. There we go. Let's grab some more of this. So these are our peaches from our peach orchard area here. Now, there are mods that allow you to create uh, jam and stuff like that. I don't have that. I don't have it installed, I should say. Uh, I had it at one point, and then I guess I took it out for whatever reason, so. And I haven't put it back in yet, so there we go. So we have some peaches now. Uh, let's go ahead and take it to the market. So I've already placed a market down uh, from the UPK mod, and uh, we just need to sell it, basically. So there are a couple different options. You can just have a, a build. You can have a building for the UPK mod. You can have a just a cell point, like a single cell point without the building. Or you, and there's two variations of buildings. Or you can have the jam facility or a stand you can sell the fruit by. It's up to you basically. So, so what we're gonna do here is I really should use a truck for this. Actually, that would probably make our lives a bit easier just because the timing. But I have to go to the shop anyways, so. Which is just around the corner here, so. This will work out in more than one way, I guess. This building looks really fancy. I don't think I've even been in this building yet. I guess it's like a contractor's yard, it looks like, almost. Anyhow. All right, so we have the I should, almost should have put the sell point at the country market, that would have made sense. I still can, it's not a big deal. But I'll show you where I put it for the time being. So we have the tractor supply over here. And we also have our sell point just up here in the corner here. So basically I put it kind of like in the corner of the shop. Because that's the, that seemed like the only place that it would fit. So there it is right there. That building right over there. And there's our new water tank we just picked up. This is the market. Actually kind of fits in this map. Which is neat. Alright, let's make this turn. And then we'll go into this view so I can actually see what we're doing here. And hopefully I can do this without making a complete muck up. 
So if you remember, when we first streamed this map, that's where we got this trailer from. So that's where it came from, if you're wondering. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm like, where's the cell point there? Sweet. So we made about a thousand, less than, less than a thousand, maybe 500 or something like that. Excellent. So what it'll do is just switch out this trailer for the water trailer, which is the one uh, we need to give our cows. Let's come over here. Apparently that trailer doesn't like that turn. That's fine. So let's go ahead and pick up our thousand liter water trailer. And I'll meet you back at the farm. All right, so we're back at the main farm, and apparently there's another little water spot right here you can get water from, which is kind of strange. This random tap right there. There used to be the one around the corner, if you remember, uh, right around like in here, but I took it out because it just seemed like the most random place for it. Anyhow, but now that I found this one, this is also a very random place for it as well. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go ahead and give our cows a little bit of water here. So they need some more straw, which means we need to get one of those round bales out of the back of that pole barn there. And hopefully, hopefully we can get it out without terrorizing the whole barn. Uh, looks like the water's on this side. Or is it? Let's just take a quick little peek. Uh, no, that's the water over there. This is the water for the cows. All right, so I have to go all the way around here. And I don't think there's a trigger on this side. Oh, no, there is. Okay. Let's uh, hop back in this guy, then. And we should be able to make this turn still. All right. Open sesame. Thank you. So here's all our cows. Just chilling out. Now that problem, the reason why they're stuck there is because that's something to do with the mesh. Or like, there's a certain thing you have to set up with those uh, troughs, and if you don't set it up properly, what will happen is it will, they'll just get stuck there. Alright. That should be good. Refill water. There we go. Let's double check to see that is the cows getting the water. Yes, there it is. Good. I don't know how much water they're going to need, but... Oh, all of that. The whole thousand, I think. That's costing us a little bit of money to do that. Yeah. So the reason why those cows are stuck is because there's like a, a mesh... I don't know. There's like a boundary associated with the feeding trough, and if you don't set it up properly in Giant's Editor, uh, they'll run into it. I may have to look into that. We'll see. So there you go. Now the cow's got a little bit of uh, water now, and now they need a little bit of straw. Let's just come over here for a second. Love that little, little sound that thing makes. Now we actually need to get at one of these. But we have all this in the way. Because that's, that's as good as it gets in terms of stacking those uh, small square bales. Uh, I do have a couple mods that could make it a bit better, but we're going to find out here. So we have to grab this guy, which is the only front loader we have at the moment. Which is the old uh, John Deere 4020. And we'll go up and give them some straw. So we may have to be a little brutish in terms of getting the straw out, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, do I want automatic loading on? Uh, we'll see how this works out. Oh, wow, really? You pick up those two? Alright, I didn't realize it would do that. <laughs> so apparently this thing will automatically load the small squares. Two at a time, mind you. Alright, well that's good to know, I guess. I don't know what's going to happen when you stop 
without automatically loading them, but let's go ahead and just give our cows some more hay then. That's ridiculous. I didn't realize you could do that. Uh, what's the key for uh, dualies? Uh, there it is, M. So let's go ahead and put these right here. I think it's Z. Is that the right word? Is that the right? Yeah. Yeah, they're just going to fall down there. Let's go ahead and spread those bales. Give them some more hay. There we go. Give them that. Excellent. Hop back in the tractor. This time we have to disable... Disable the automatic loading because we don't want... The small square hay bales. We want the big round bales. And if you're wondering where the round bales came from, uh, they came from the live stream that we did on this map the very first time, so... That's what happened to them. Alright, so... Let's get lined up here. And we need to go on this side. So let's just uh, push this down and we'll move them out of the way with our front loader. Which is totally something you shouldn't definitely... You definitely shouldn't do, but... Don't have much of a choice. So let's try and grab this one on the outside here. Uh, let's see if we can get that guy there. Alright, well that's one way to grab him. I think we're just dragging him out. Yeah, we definitely are. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and grab that guy now. Note to self, next time you want to do that, maybe do two separate barns, <laughs> bull barns. So let's give our cows some straw so they make some more manure for us, so hopefully we can spread some manure at some point. Now, I think we can spread the straw right here. Let's find out. Let's put it down. And can I spread the straw right here? No. Okay. I wasn't sure. I think it's just the way... It's just the way it looks. It's not actually where you actually need to put it. It just looks like you should put it there. Alright, so let's try over by this trough. Which might be the place. No, that's not the place either. Okay. Maybe that is over there somewhere. Or maybe it's over by this trough. Where else would it be? no triggers here. Yeah, maybe it's in here somewhere. It must be in there somewhere. I just haven't gone far enough in. Alright, let's do this then. Let's back up a little bit. That's totally what a John Deere seat looks like too. Alright. Watch out for the cows. I think this is where it is right here. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Give him a little bit of straw. Oh, that does change. Okay, it's just the graphic is right there, that's all. Alright, so now they have 4,000 liters of straw, we got some water, so they have some grass, so they should increase their productivity. We still need to make them TMR, uh, which means we need silage. That's one thing we haven't dealt with yet. There we go, let's put the forks down. Make the turn, that's where the sheep are over there. Now, I think it was uh, Texas Long Haul was saying that uh, some small dairy farms in Texas still use uh, small squares for their dairy farm. Now, in my mind, that has to be a pretty small dairy to use small squares. Um, I don't know how efficient that would be, but maybe it is efficient. I don't know. So there you go. Our cows are good to go now. Put this back over here in the shop. This is the most expensive tractor we have kind of idea right now. There we go. Perfect. So we still need some silage. Now that is the next kind of thing. So I actually took out the silage bunk. There actually wasn't a silage bunker here, um, unfortunately. So that was another thing we wanted to deal with. So how are we going to deal with this? I'll have to think about that. Anyways, so we do have one more field we do need to harvest, uh, which is field number 11. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that on camera, but someone was asking about a new combine. I'm definitely going to upgrade a new combine soon. Maybe not this episode, 
Uh, but I'm just going to double check to see what combines I have that would kind of fit this time. I think the only one I have is this older TF78, but it's still newer than I want it to be. Could go for a Neva, I suppose, but that doesn't fit the American style at all, really. So we'll have to leave that one for the time being. All right, so the cows, they just need, they just need silage now. Okay, that's not so bad. So let's see, I have a couple options for silage here. And the options I have are for vertical silos. So I was, that was the plan to use a vertical silo as opposed to a bunker style. Uh, they don't use the vertical style that often anymore, but it, some people still do. So uh, let's see here. Here it is. So it's a UPK silo, so it just makes silage like this. And that kind of looks like an older style um, silo. Uh, it's actually pretty big. So where would be a good spot for this? Where would make sense uh, for this UPK silo? Let's think about this for a second here. No, I imagine it would be close to the cows, but maybe not in the cow shed. Maybe on the corner here somewhere. In this field would make sense actually probably too, but that's kind of out of the way. Uh, right here somewhere. Hmm. Let me think about this. Uh, and I'll come back to you in a sec. All right, so I decided where to put the vertical silo. I put it over here in the cow or cow pasture. This is the sheep pasture actually for the time being. Uh, it's kind of out of the way, which is nice. So it's not going to get in the way. Uh, so this yard is a bit cramped uh, to put it anywhere like in the yard like right here for example would be too much or over there in the corner is where we're going to put our bins eventually so it's a little out of the way for the time being so that's why uh, that would have been in the way so that's why I put it over here uh, for the time being so um, yeah that's good so it apparently actually I, don't, I haven't used this one but it, we, apparently we can make silage from chaff, grass, hay, and straw. So I suppose what that means is we can put any one of those there. So it, there's a grate right down there. Technically, I'd be like a blower that goes up to the top, but anyways. Older style UPK. There's another one that I used to have um, that I could easily get again, but uh, it's a bit, it, looks, it would, look, would have looked a little bit too modern for this farm. So I guess what you could do technically is pick one of these up and then put it over there, theoretically. But we can give that a go actually, just to see if that works or not. Actually, you know what we will do? I think it already has silage in it, so let's grab the truck. Our 66 truck. Out of all the trucks I think I've used, this one probably has one of the nicer sounding engines. But it is kind of like, it sounds like a race car a bit. Which I don't mind. But it does seem a little out of place. There's our tether. Probably should put that back in the shop. Or back in the shed, I should say. So we're going to go ahead and grab our trail that we left at the shop here. And we'll bring it back to our farm. Because I believe the UPK... A lot of the UPK stuff starts with silage already in it. So we're just going to double check to see if it has silage in it already. Because I think it does. Alright. We should be able to pick up this trailer with this truck. If memory serves. Really? I thought it could. I wish certain it could. Alright, well. I guess not. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Uh, I think this truck can take silage as well, if memory serves. Yeah. All right, we'll just use the truck then. I thought that had uh, the capability of getting that thing, but I guess not. All right, so let's go double check that silo real quick. I'm pretty sure it has silage in it. A lot of the UPK stuff, when you put it, put it down, you'll get stuff right off the bat. You'll get like uh, some sort of quantity of it already. So we're just going to check that right now. And then if we do have some silage in it, we'll give it to our cows just so they're Productivity's increased, and then after the fact, I'll put some of the uh, straw and uh, straw and hay in there. There we go. 
open sesame. There we go. Now, that looks like it's the unload point. Or I should say the uh, pickup point. Let's go ahead and try and see if that is indeed what it is. Do I have to actually tell it to uh, tailgate racks left alt five? Does that make a difference here? Is it going to tell me how much is in here? Ah, okay. Uh, it was higher, so I guess we don't have anything there. So what I'll do off camera is I'll put some uh, some hay in there, and uh, I'll put some hay in there, and then we'll have hopefully have some silage by next episode. We can take care of those uh, cows a bit better. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Uh, let's turn off the truck here. That'll be it for me for today. I hope you enjoy this episode of North Oak Township. If you have any suggestions for what we should do next episode, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's it for me for today. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more North Oak Township. My name's Ian Robson again, and I'll catch you guys later.